Hey, fellow expeditionists, we're back at McCormick's Creek State Park. And we're checking out Wolf Cave. McCormick's Creek State Park is located near Spencer, Indiana, and over the past 10 years, we've pretty much hiked everything here. The unique feature of McCormick's Creek is the underlying bedrock, which is primarily limestone, and is why the area is full of sinkholes and caves. One thing we have not done in McCormick's Creek is crawl through Wolf Cave, and frankly, we didn't come prepared to do so on this trip either, but you never know when opportunity knocks. Those are like selectites. Yeah. Take a look through here. Did I mention we did not come prepared to crawl through the cave? Yeah. Normally we would have headlamps for this, but our phone lights had to suffice. And typically we would have left our backpacks outside the cave as well. But there's no turning back now. Very good light. No, but it picks up from the camera. I'll take it. Kind of neat so far, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yep. Just a nice little cave. It's really tight through here. I really didn't think we could make it this far through without we have our hands and knees, but. This is where you have to get on your knees. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, do we keep going? What do you say? Well, I would like to, but I'm going to have to reposition some stuff. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Are we still making it? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> that man squeeze. Looks like we got a slight opening right here. All right, I think I see light ahead. Nice. I wonder how old these stakes are. I don't know. <laughs> Watch, our opening's gonna be covered with ice. It is. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're getting out this way. I'm gonna look. Well, looky there. Somebody decided to leave their doggy bag in here. Yay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hell yeah. We can go. Come on. We made it. Hi there. <laughs> oh, buddy. Which hole did you squeeze out? I went on the one on your right. 
Yeah. You did it, buddy. Yep. <laughs> so now we're in the uh, twin bridges. This is where the cave once had a larger chamber that collapsed. And it's full of ice, which almost blocked our exit, huh? Yeah. Well, all right, that was a pretty cool little adventure. It was actually warmer inside the cave than it is out here. That's a bonus. All right, that was a cool little adventure. We weren't sure if we were gonna be able to go through the cave or not, but we did it. So, things learned from going through Wolf Cave right there. Um, we didn't really expect to be able to do it today. Uh, we actually just come down here to see the frozen waterfalls and stuff like that and decided, yeah, let's go check it out. Um, number one, don't take your backpack through. Uh, we had to push ours through, obviously, because we didn't want to go back and take them off. And uh, number two, make sure you have a good flashlight. Um, we didn't have plan for it at all, but I love the experience. It just means we're going to have to come back here yep. at another time and better prepared to have a little more fun with it. How Wolf Cave got its name is a bit of a legend here. In the early 1800s, early settler Nancy Peden was returning home from selling eggs and butter. But as she passed the cave entrance, Several wolves came out and started chasing her. She threw down everything she had to try to distract the wolves and made it home safely. Wolves are not something we have to worry about as they have been extinct in Indiana for over 150 years. Well, there you go, folks. That is our little expedition here to Wolf Cave and McCormick's Creek State Park. Catfish, any thoughts on today's hike? The call for Wolf Cave was pretty darn cool just with all the box and tunes and stuff and double arch is also cool yep yep it's uh we have hiked this trail uh three or four times in the years past this is the first time we actually went all the way through wolf cave and it is one of the only caves uh, on dnr properties here in indiana that stays open through the winter most of the others have bats in them so they close those off in the winter to protect them hibernating the wolf cave does not have that issue so we got to experience that for a change huh yeah all right well we're off to our next adventure Till next time, peace, peace out. out.